spend a little, live a lot. Try new Sudafed Vapor Plug. It's a tiny, waterless vaporizer that releases comforting menthol and eucalyptus vapors all night long. New Sudafed Vapor Plug. Got heartburn? Get Gaviscon Cool Tablets in a convenient new pack. Heartburn relief has never been handier. in your new job. Love, Darren. I loved my wife. Whatever. But you still killed her. He stabbed her in the throat with barbers. Sometimes a trauma in a present life can lead you back to a trauma in a past life. Dead again. Nine o'clock Friday on five. It's almost nine o'clock. I'm Kirsty Young. Several child protection agencies have been strongly criticized for failing to spot the signs that a couple were leaving their children to starve in squalor. Sarah Whitaker and David Askew from Sheffield have been jailed for seven years for cruelty. Their five children were found severely malnourished and in excrement smeared rooms. What I found overall was that there was a lack of seeing this family as a complete family, uh, that the services that were involved failed to do the, an effective assessment on the family, either as the individuals of the family, parenting or as a complete family. And as a result of that, they didn't recognize that this was an increasingly vulnerable family. To Iraq now, where Saddam Hussein has claimed that he's been tortured by the US. He told the court in Baghdad that he'd been beaten on every part of his body. The White House says the allegations are preposterous. Meanwhile, Britain's former top official in Baghdad has warned insurgent attacks and violence have the potential to continue for many years across Iraq. I think it's got at least five years of life because there are men, there are materials, there's motivation there from the, the, the Sunni insurgents, the, the leftover Ba'athists, the Saddamists, and from the foreign jihadists, uh, Al-Qaeda Al franchise, the, there's, there's material and motivation there for several years' worth of insurgency. Five people described as the family from hell have been jailed for life for murdering a young mother of two. Rachel Hudson's husband was among the group who killed the 20-year-old and then dumped her body in the grounds of Newstead Abbey. She'd suffered months of abuse. Millions of New Yorkers are having to walk to work on the second day of a public transport strike. Subway and bus drivers have walked out over pay and conditions. Their employers have told them that they'll lose two days' pay for each day that they continue the action. Sir Elton John and David Furnish are holding a lavish party in Windsor after their civil partnership ceremony earlier today. They were among the first gay couples to tie the knot in England. Hundreds of well-wishers turned out to see them get hitched. I wish him and David very well and, and uh, to all the other people exercising their rights under the civil partnership law. I think it's a modern progressive step forward for the country and I'm proud we did it. A woman with breast cancer has been told she can challenge her NHS Trust's decision not to give her the drug Herceptin. Swindon Primary Care Trust has also been ordered to fund the treatment for Anne-Marie Rogers until a full court hearing next year. Let me give you a little bit of cricket now. And England won the fifth and final one day international in Pakistan by just six runs. Their narrow victory means the visitors have finished the tour on a winning note despite losing both the one day international and test series. Take a look at tomorrow's weather then. Cloudy for Scotland, northern England, and parts of Wales with outbreaks of rain tomorrow. Dry with some sunny spells elsewhere. And the temperatures, well, the top temperature tomorrow around about 10 degrees Celsius and lows in the east in the far north at just four. That's all for now then. I'm going to be back with more news in an hour's time. Do join me. You may believe Christmas to be a time of hoodwinks and pie munching frolics, but nay, listen closely, ye overly stuffed gooses. Indeed, ye shall cackle with Turkish delight at the pleasantries of George and Mildred. Shall we pull another cracker? <laughs>
And if they are inclined to a satisfying guffaw, a sojourn into Robin's nest will surely be to your liking. Goodwill to all men. Shut up, Albert! Our twofold dosage of Mr. Cooper will have thine angel lips pursed in a beam of serenity. I'll go so ahead. And indeed, Yuletide would be woefully tainted by the unblessed, unless sanctified by the mockum and the wise. Eden. The Christmas comedy classics night commences eight o'clock sharp, Boxing Day on five. Subject to sponsorships, promos and advertisements. It's action and adventure now on five, and when Steven Seagal uncovers a drug smuggling ring, he finds himself framed and ends up in prison where there's only one thing on his mind, revenge. Out for a Kill has been given a caution rating as it contains strong language and violence throughout. Only one man stood in their way.